This quick video about how you can get fluid responsiveness with the min function in CSS. For responsiveness, to maybe be more advanced uh, CSS trick. So what we want in a wider view, it should be the form should be this width, right? Now what we want is that if the viewport is smaller or gets smaller, if you look at the form, it should stay this width, this width. But if there is not enough space for that width, it should just become progressively smaller like this. So basically it should be 100% width instead. Right? So here it's gonna be a fixed width, but then as soon as the viewport is smaller than that fixed width, it should become 100%, right? So that's uh, really nice uh, responsive. So we can actually very easy do that, easily do that with CSS or with uh, Tailwind. So here we can set a width on the overall section and the form will just take up whatever the width is of this. So here we, it's going to be a custom value. So we have to use square brackets. So it's going to be a minimum function actually. So in CSS you have min and also a max. And let me make this a little bit wider. So the second value is going to be that fixed value, right? So a, an, an actual absolute value, so 38 RAM. And then the other value is going to be 100%. So basically what we're saying here with min is pick the smaller of these. So on a very wide viewport, you know, I have a, I have a, I'm, I'm going to, on my computer, I'm going to have a viewport that's like 1920 pixels uh, wide, which is more than this one, than this value. So on a wider viewport, it's just going to be this 38 RAM. But as soon as the viewport gets smaller than 38 RAM, 100% is less than that. So 100% will be the new width, right? So this is an, uh, a nice way of, of creating uh, responsive uh, components and sections. It's more ad more of an advanced CSS trick, but uh, very powerful, right? So we don't even need to use any media queries. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.